Hey, yeah, what's up? I am parked in front of a trash can and it's so cold. That's why I have this hoodie on. But at least I did my eyebrows. Anyways, I want to make this video to say that you ha like the secret to life is for you to be excited to be you. And I know that sounds like really like cliche, over said, and how like everyone talks about authenticity all the time. But just because it's cliche doesn't mean it's like, like any less true. You know what I mean? Like you have to really be excited to be you in order to embrace your flaws embrace your talents at the same time and therefore get whatever you want in life like you can have what you want in life you can be what you want do what you want you just have to be willing to embrace your imperfections and use them to your advantage right because everything in life is perception like whether or not you achieve something is determined by your perception. Personally, I was really skeptical like in the beginning when I started like, you know, this self-reflection journey and self-love journey. I was like, no, perception is not everything. Perception is not like, you know, something that will change your life, but it really, really, really is. Like, why do some people like rainy days and some people don't like rainy days? It's because those people who like rainy days perceive it in another way, right? Like the other day, my family member was saying like, oh, I hate rainy days. Meanwhile, I was thriving because having a rainy day, I perceived it as like me relaxing, relaxing a little bit more, me feeling like a little cozy in my house, me being able to write an article and hear the sound of the rain. It was perception and that made my day better versus the other person who is saying that they hated the rainy day. Does that make sense? Like you have to be able to change and flip the switch on your life and be like, no, I am the creator of my own life. I can create anything that I want. I can be anything that I want. I can do anything that I want. And these are thoughts that literally go through my head all the time. And again, this YouTube channel is to document like my journey and to share tips and wisdom like about this journey about self-love and stuff like that it's not really easy all the time right obviously like you can't just perceive every single thing as being good and therefore you're always going to feel good all the time but more often than not we always really do have the choice right like we always have the choice to flip the switch and be like no my life is literally a reflection of how i'm perceiving things like are you perceiving your challenges as something that you cannot overcome or your challenges as something that are just there temporary for the moment and aren't going to ruin your life, right? Like your life cannot be ruined if you have the willpower and the persistence and the tenacity and the resilience and the relentlessness to just flip the switch. You don't even have to move a finger. It's just in the mind. Whatever's happening inside and in the mind, that is exactly what is going to show in your external reality. Your external reality is going to feel crappy. It's going to look crappy, be crappy if your internal reality is like that as well. But if you're always encouraging yourself, if you're always telling yourself, no, I can do this. Like, I'm smart. I was born to be abundant. I was born to be prosperous. I was born to, to fulfill my desires and have my wants and lead a life of, of blessings and love, miracles and joy. Then that's exactly what your reality is going to look like, be like and feel like. And you're going to attract people on the same wavelength too. And that's another thing. Don't hang around people who are not vibrationally there with you. That does not mean that you are better than them. However, it does mean that you know what you want and you know what you want to surround yourself with. And that is not a bad thing. Some people might call that selfish. But if the self-love journey is a selfish thing, then I want to be as selfish as possible. Because if you live your life trying to like you know, satisfy other people, trying to play small because you don't want to be selfish, then then, then what are you going to gain out of this life? Just their temporary approval. That's all you're going to gain, right? Like, oh, I just really want y'all to understand that you just have to get over this thing that other people just have more to say about your life. Like, no, you always have the power to be, do, have anything you want, no matter what. Forget about like, oh, what are they going to say about me? What are they going to think about me? Who cares? Like, honestly, everyone is always worried about themselves. Even though someone might be worried about you for like a minute or two, might not want you, might not encourage you to like do something, right? Like might not support you in your goals or dreams 
or are watching your every move but that's all that's always temporary like whenever you feel anxious or stressed or worried or overwhelmed about taking action because you're worried about other people's opinions whether that's online or in person just think about how like literally everyone is just worried about themselves that has helped me a lot with because i used to be really shy and i just would have social anxiety because of it right like i wouldn't even want to go to the gym I would always have to go with someone else to the gym because I just always needed someone else to be there with me. But now I actually prefer and love going to the gym alone because I've realized that it's all mental. It really genuinely is. You are meant to do really, really, really great things in this life. You are meant to showcase your talents, showcase your wisdom, showcase your gifts. And you cannot live your life based off of other people's opinions all the time. Like it, at one point, it just has to give like you just cannot care anymore like truly or even if you do still care because everyone's different you just will not let it affect you as much you won't let it like paralyze you and stop you from doing the things that you want also people are going to feel about you however you feel about yourself like and this is something that i really have been putting into practice and have experimented with so if you feel good and confident about yourself people are going to perceive you as being that because it's all energy we're energetic beings and so whatever you're feeling that's what you're emitting that's your vibration right and then so people are going to match that people are going to perceive you as that i know that it's easier said than done when it comes to like saying all of this but sometimes y'all like your thoughts and your feelings like you just have to sometimes disregard them and not pay attention to all of them sometimes you just cannot give full attention or or you just cannot believe all of your thoughts and, and all of your feelings because that is past paradigms, past programming, past mental states of being. And so whenever you're having a limiting belief, a limiting thought, you don't always have to pay attention to it all the time. You can either A, you know, work through it, but that's what I'm saying, like you don't always have to do that. Or B, just ignore it. Because the truth is, not every limiting belief is a trauma. Personally, I don't think that not every limiting belief that's coming up is a trauma. Sometimes limiting beliefs are just made up stories that didn't actually even happen to us or that we have picked up from society. Like if we grew up around people, for example, being afraid of bees, then we're going to be afraid of bees. It's not that we inherently, something bad happened to us and that's why we're afraid of bees. No, it's because we've seen other, because I personally have never been stung by a bee yet i was so afraid of them and i just overcame my fear this past summer because on my balcony there's so many bees and so many like wasps and flying things and bumblebees but i literally just sat there with myself and just got over my fear and realized that it was all mental so my point is sometimes the limiting beliefs that come up aren't even real and you just have to ignore them and and feel through them but still take action you still do the things that you need to do you still, you still go like that extra mile, right? And of course, don't burn yourself out. Don't make yourself like extremely uncomfortable to the point that you're self-sabotaging your health and your peace of mind. But do get yourself out of your comfort zone. Do get yourself into this place of growth because that's what it's about, y'all. You're not gonna grow in your comfort zone. You're not gonna grow in a place where it, it, where it is so familiar to you. You have to make the effort to to expand yourself to stretch to to open up your heart and your soul and really show what it is you have in you i genuinely believe that you must open up and stretch and expand to become the version of it, it's not going to happen with you sitting down it's not going to happen with you sitting on the couch watching tv it's going to happen with you actually putting into practice the desires and wants that you have in life that is how it's going to that's how it's going to happen to you and it happens to everyone that way everyone must stretch and expand okay i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that this video served as giving you some wisdom for the weekend or the rest of the week or whatever whenever you're seeing this um, remember that you are the creator of your own reality. Remember that you matter, that you're important, that all your desires are valid, that everything you want is on its way. Just get really crystal clear on what it is that you want. Become your own best friend and believe in yourself. Believe that you can do, be, have anything that you want. 
I love you so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will never miss another video of mine. I hope to see you in the next one. And remember, I love you so much. Bye.